It was in early 2008 when a company in Poland, founded by CD Projekt, decided to launch GOG.com, or Good Old Games. The goal of the company was to distribute all classic games without DRM, or Digital Rights Management. Indeed, game players have long resented all the difficult and different schemes that game publishers have used to prevent piracy. At first, GOG struggled to find game publishers willing to distribute the games on their platform. Fortunately, Interplay stepped up to the plate first, and soon thereafter other game publishers followed. It soon became a win-win for everyone, for GOG, for game players, and for game publishers. Currently, GOG has nearly 3,000 games on their website, with new ones added several times per week. What's more, GOG has grown from distributing old classic games to selling new hit releases. There are many set of fans who have accounts with GOG, including yours truly. Wouldn't it be great if we could somehow copy our GOG games, which are already installed in a Windows system, and quickly transfer them into a Bautasetta system? Well, Imagine no more. In this tutorial, you will learn to quickly port many of your GOG games into Bataseta. Let's do it. Greetings everyone and welcome to Bautista Nation. So today we're going to do a quick tutorial how to copy your GOG games from your Windows PC uh, to your Bautista system. A quick and easy way to do this, okay? Here we are in GOG and these are the games we're going to install. We're going to install this game right here, or copy this game shall we say, from Windows. Uh, this one also from Windows. This one also from Windows. This is one of the bigger games, Red Out, Space Assault, also from Windows. Crime City. And then we also have two games from DOS, okay? And that's a little bit different process. We have Star Gunner, which is free right now, as of July the 1st of 2021. And Tyrion 2000, also for free. Uh, in fact, I remember these two games when they first came out back, I think in the 90s or so. Uh, they were really popular games when they came out, okay? But we're also going to install these into a Bataseta system, okay? All right. Okay, so here we have on my left hand side of the screen, I've got my GOG folder with these games which I'm going to just copy into my Bataseta system. Okay, and I open up Explorer and then anywhere in Explorer, backspace all that, and then do this Bataseta. Okay, uh, I've got my Bataseta system turned on already. It's hooked up with an Ethernet cable. Uh, if you don't know what I'm doing right here, I explained this process in a tutorial entitled How to Quickly Copy Your Games into Bataseta. I think I'm going to go ahead and link it uh, at the end of my video. If you cannot find it, uh, just go to my website and go to Useful Tips. Okay, Click on that tab, you quickly will find it there. Okay, uh, So again, there's an easy way now to copy games from your Windows or your files, your folders into Bataseta system. All right? so, from here, I go into my share folder, and I go into this folder, right, the games folder right here. Uh, I'm going to Windows. All right, and we're going to copy the Windows games first. All right, go ahead and copy here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this section right here. Uh, and I'll, once everything's been copied, we'll resume the tutorial. Okay, so all five folders have been copied. Okay, these are not set up files. These are games that have already been installed on my, on my computer, my Windows computer. Okay, all right. So now let's go ahead and copy the DOS games. Okay, and let's go up into my DOS folder. There it is. Let's go ahead and just copy it over here. It shouldn't take that long. Okay. All right. Let's go to the window. Back to Windows. Let's take care of that first. All right. First thing we need to do, we need to add an extension. Dot PC. Okay. Otherwise, it won't work.
All right. Next thing we need, we need to do is go over here. We need to create a file. Okay, so let's go on the, here on the empty space right here. Right click, new, text file. Okay, and we're going to call it uh, auto run. Let's go to let's go there. auto run dot cmd command auto run dot cmd hit enter you're going to get this message yes you want to change the file name extension that's correct now go and select it again go into edit okay it opens up the file all right and from here you got to type the command this c capital c capital m capital d equals the name of the file the name of the game file okay let's go minimize this and let's try to figure out what uh, here it is. This is the file right here that launches the game. Select it, go into properties or rename. Select it all, copy. It's case sensitive, so that's why we have to do it just exactly the way it's at. All right, and paste it. Okay. If the game file has two words, if there's a space, then you have to put in quotes. Okay. Otherwise, this this should work. Save it. That's the first one. It's done. And let's go back to that auto run command file. Let's just, just copy it. Let's take it to Hollow Knight PC. And paste it right there. Okay, let's look for the game file that runs it. Um, here it is, right there. Select it, properties, highlight it, copy it, control C. Go back to the auto run command file, edit it, and backspace all that, and control V, Hollow Knight. And then, since it has two words with the space in there, go and do that, okay? Um, let's say, I'm gonna just go ahead and say that. Let's say the game was in here. Okay, let's say it was right in here, somewhere in there, okay, on another folder, a subfolder, okay. So to do that, let's go back, where is it, where's auto, right there. To do that, what you would have to do is, the directory, let's say it was Hollow Knight data, I think it's uh, like this. Case sensitive, Hollow Knight data. Uh, sorry, data, and then put that, and then the name of the game, okay, like that. Actually, in this case, it would be more like like this. You would do it like this. Get rid of that all night, and it'd be like that, okay. So the folder right here, and then. I have forward slash or backslash. I always get them confused. It's one of this, this one right there, and then name the file. Okay? All right. Let's go back and put it the way it was. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and save it. All right. Now let's go ahead and copy that. And let's go to the next file Iron Fury. And paste it there. And the game, where's the game? I think this is the game. Let's find out. Right click on that, properties. Yeah, that's the game right there. All right, so go ahead and select that. Properties. Select the game. Copy. Cancel. Go into all run, edit. And go ahead and put it in there. All right, save it. Copy it. Let me go to the next file, next folder. Okay, red out space assault. Paste it. Okay, if you look for the game. There it is, right there. Go to properties and select it. Copy. And I'll edit this right here.
paste it. Be good to go. And I think we got one more to go. Copy that. And the last one, Stardew Valley. Paste it. Look for the game. There it is. This should be it. Properties. All right. And edit this. And it's two words, so we gotta put a quotes. Okay. And then we can save it. All right. Now, let's go to our DOS folder and take care of those two games. Okay. Remember, all the DOS games that you get from GOG website, put them in here. All right. Now, let's go ahead and rename that. And we also put the same extension, .pc. And go to Tyrion 2000. Rename it .pc. All right, let's go into the folders too. Show some stuff we can delete. Okay, we can delete this DOS box. We don't need it from the GOG website. We don't need that at all. Okay, I'll save us some time. We can get rid of all these GOG stuff as well. We don't need that at all. Delete. Yes. We can also delete this right here. We don't need that. Delete. Can even delete the uninstall the uninstall files right here as well. Let's go ahead and delete all that. We don't need that. All right, that should do it. All right. Go to the next one. Same thing. Delete that DOS box file folder and delete all the GOG stuff. Okay. Delete the installation stuff as well. Delete that. And this last one, web cache. Delete that. We don't need it. All right. So we are good to go. All right. So we are ready. We're going to go ahead and move it over right now to the bot to set up system, which is already turned on, and start configuring these things around. Okay, so we're in bot to set up. Let's go ahead and press start on the gamepad. Go into game settings, update games list. All right, let's do Windows first. All right, so they have the five games, all right? Let's go ahead and try them out. Okay, he's asking me about setting things here. So go into video. Let's go ahead and select, uh, I think it's like a 1080p here. Audio, yeah, I'll leave it on the default OpenGL. That should work. Settings, that should work. Go ahead, properties. Let's test it, make sure everything's, everything is good. Okay, and we're good. So that loaded up. Let's go to the next one, Hollow Knight.
Okay, so that one took about 30 seconds to load or so, so you gotta be patient with some of these games, okay? Uh, unless it kicks you out, then you know something is wrong, but just wait and be patient until the game loads up, all right? Let's go to the next one. Okay, so here we're being asked to select a video mode, so I want 1080p OpenGL, that's correct, so I'm gonna go ahead and press start. Okay, so the game loads up. The only problem is that towards the end there, you have to have a Y or N. You have to have a keyboard. So to fix that, just go ahead and press A on the, on the game pad. And go to Create Patrick Keyboard Configuration. And from here, you can select which buttons you want to select for Y and N. Okay? And after you do that, then you go ahead and save it. And then you have a custom configuration. All right? Okay, so let's try it out. Red out Space Assault. Okay, so we got their error message. And it's telling me that Direx 12 is not supported. So, might be a way to fix that. Let's go ahead and press OK. All right, so, all right, so hold down the A button, and that brings us to the context menu. Go into Advanced Game Options. Uh, let's pick Proton, and let's, uh, I guess we pick it. Uh, and then this one right here, let's pick it for on. Okay, usually that does the trick. Uh, if it doesn't do the trick, well, let's try something else. Let's just see if that works. All right, let's try it again. Bravo 1 to Poseidon HQ. We've reached the location. Copy Bravo 1. Begin scouting the area. Just some Genesis freak skulking around, I bet. This is our chance to shine, Aeon. Enemy drones! out for enemy fire. Okay, so we got that one to work. Okay, so let's go back and press hold down the A button and Here's where you gotta go to try to see if you can find a solution to the problem, okay? So again, try this one, we'll try this one, uh, and then have this one to on, okay? Those are the ones I usually tend to mess around with, okay? Okay, if neither of these work, then 
it just means the game is not compatible uh, with Pato Cera. So it's not whatever you do is not going to load up. Okay. All right. Let's go to the last one. Okay. All right, let's get out of this. Uh, let's see if we can change the resolution of that game. All right, so again, hold down the A button. Go to Advanced Game Options. Uh, video Mode. Let's try 720p. All right, let's see if that fixes it. If it doesn't, then we'll go into a different emulator. All right. Okay, so we got it to work. Now let's go ahead and go into the DOS games. And let's start with Star Gunner. All right, so we're here. It's obvious that that's the default game. All right, same thing for that one. You have to press Y or anything to get out. So go ahead and create a keyboard configuration file for that one as well. Let's go ahead and select it again. So it turns out that this game created an automatic auto run file. But in case it does not create an auto run file, select uh, the file that you want. And then on the D pad, uh, press the right or the left button. Right? There, set to auto start. And then go ahead and select it. Get out. And we press it again, it should automatically load up the game. Okay. Okay, we're good to go there. Let's go with Tyrion 2000. All right, look for the game. I'm pretty sure. We got here two files. Let's try that one. Good luck. All right, let me check this one out here just to make sure. All right, so that's not what we want. All right, so this is the game we want to set to auto start. So on the D-pad. All right, there it is. Should work now. Let's go ahead and get out of this.
make sure I try it out one more time. Okay, we got it to work. All right, so we're set with the DOS games. Again, so put all the DOS games from the GOG, put them in here, uh, and this should work quite well. Okay, so that is a wrap. I do want to emphasize that not all the games from GOG are going to be able to successfully install uh, in Bautista. In fact, there's some games you're going to have to do it with the setup installation files. And I have a tutorial how to do that. Look for the video that says how to install with new games in Bautista. Uh, that's actually part one of the two-part tutorial for the Windows games, okay? So uh, if you try that, if you try the setup files and it still doesn't work, it just means that it's not compatible, okay? It's going to be a hit and miss. Uh, as Bajoceta continues to progress and mature, more and more Windows games will be compatible. So you have to be patient as Bajoceta matures uh, and gets better with time. Okay, so again, I really appreciate your time. I want to give a shout out to Deuce. He was the one that inspired me to do this tutorial. Uh, in fact, he shared with me a video of his own that he created uh, about how he did it. Uh, and so I really appreciate that. Again, he was the one that inspired me to do this video tutorial, all right? For my next tutorial, I plan to do uh, an app that's going to make your life so much easier in terms of how to scrape uh, all your games, okay? Sometimes the built-in system doesn't work all that well. So there's actually there's a better option out there, and it's an app that we can use. So I'm going to focus on that on my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and like this video if you found it useful. If you're a first-time comer to Batocera Nation, please go ahead and check out our website, batoceranation.com, and that will give you a nice, good overview uh, of what Batocera is all about. Uh, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Batocera Nation. Bye.